A barricaded gunman situation is over after a deadly shooting on Detroit's west side. It happened on Dexter Avenue. That's near Livernoy and the Lodge. A 19 year old man was found dead this morning inside a Jeep SUV after it crashed into a home. Police did take one suspect into custody. Investigators determined a second suspect also fired shots from an assault rifle. That man barricaded himself inside a home with his three year old son. He surrendered and was taken into custody. The son was not hurt. The FBI is being called in to help solve the mystery of a woman's burned body found in White Lake Township. Police identified the woman earlier this week as 33-year-old Susie Zhao from Waterford. Her badly burned body was found last week near the Pontiac Lake uh, State Recreation Area. Investigators say Zhao was a professional gambler and played poker across the U.S. White Lake police are trying to determine her whereabouts before her death. She would check in with her parents, though. They always kind of knew where she was, but uh, uh, they didn't feel the need to uh, issue a, a, a missing persons report at the time. Um, she was uh, um, likely uh, brought to that scene between midnight uh, on July uh, 12th and uh, 8.05 uh, in the morning on July 13th. Her death is being called a homicide, though the exact cause of death still not being revealed or we're not sure if it's even known yet because investigators are waiting for toxicology results. Today, crews broke ground on a training center that's expected to increase job opportunities for people in Detroit. The $30 million seven acre facility will house training and apprenticeship programs for carpenters and millwrights. It includes state-of-the-art classrooms, as well as space for training on things such as welding and operating cranes. Mayor Mike Duggan says this will give Detroiters an opportunity to learn new trades at a time when construction is booming downtown and in neighborhoods.